Good evening. Um, so we can get through this. Uh, so what are your uh, questions about increasing the size of the commission? And there really weren't any questions, you know, about about that process other than everybody has to be quiet to hear them. You gotta talk right into it. Is it okay, better. Um, so nothing uh, questions about how um, the process or um, increase in size, but other than um, uh, there could have been a better uh, focus on the objectives. On it felt like there could have been more media attention on why we were uh, going to uh, to a five member. And I'm going to come back to this first page at the end. Um, what should be considered um, in the future? Um, what considerations should be there? Uh, definitely the the rural um, the rural perspective, um, urban versus rural that, that could continue to come up. Um, uh, zoning regulations and rural communities, how that's all going to relate into the to the redrawing. Um, concerned about the city expansion, um, how is that going to affect the drawing of the lines and the commission? Um, and again, uh, highlight on wanted to make sure that in any of the maps that are that are drawn, that there's appropriate uh, county or rural Douglas County um, representation. What are the biggest concerns? Um, and right here at the top, communities of interest that, you know, that the communities of interest, and although they're, they're broken up by township and, and districts, that there's a focus on communities of interest. So what are those communities and how are they gonna be possibly kept together? Um, biggest concerns, um, we keep getting back to this rural representation, um, you know, like, you know, one of the maps had just one seat in the in, in the rural community. Um, equitable work representation. Um, you know, one thing that this group talked about a lot was data, and that they they would like to have more data. And you know, one around like the maps. You know, although they show the population in each of the proposed districts, that could could there be a um, data that was publicized about how many. In each of those districts are actual city of Lawrence and actual Douglas County residents. So, although it's a total, but there's not a difference of, of those two populations. So that's one piece of data that uh, they would like to see um, publicized and broken down. Um, that was on the spokes map specifically. Another data point was how much land um, overall was in each of those districts, so that could be more another data point to be considered um, and publicized. Um, and knowing that townships have to be kept whole, and there's other variables in those rules, but um, but as they're drawn, you know, can we, they wanted to know how many, um, how much land, how much land area in each one. Concern about rural growth and what happens in, you know, the eastern part of the county with Panasonic, those kind of things. You know, are, is a planning going to plan for, <coughs> that future expansion, knowing that there's going to be growth um, in drawing these maps today, is it going to uh, reflect future future uh, growth, knowing that that growth is coming in, um, and how will that be considered? What other perspectives need to be brought in? Um, so there was conversation about um, the election process and how that is going to work, and um, you know, although Jamie talked about it here, there were there were some un people that were unclear about how that special election would work, and you know, compared to the general election, the governor's um, role in that, how those candidates would be elected, if it was special, how they come forward from those districts. So there was uh, want more information about about how that how that may happen. So, um, so then there's the question, it was a request from this table was, between now and next week's commission meeting, is there, are all, is all of this feedback gonna be compiled and available for, for all of you to look at and others to look at? I see um, Carrie shaking her head yes, so on the website. Okay, thank you, Carrie. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then um, back here, um, 
So is there gonna be an opportunity for a community survey once there's down to a couple maps? The question was, is there gonna be an opportunity for the community to weigh in on it after the commission narrows it down? And then um, at our table, they did a quick ranking and uh, nobody wanted the county map, one for the city, one for folks, and six people wanted the walk over. So that was just a fun thing to do at the end. So. <laughs> <laughs> Facilitator will be Jillian Rodrigue, and she is our Assistant Director of Emergency Management, Deputy Director of Emergency Management. Hey, it's Joel. Um, a couple of the things from our table, one of the first questions out of the gate was what's the cost and where does that funding come from? Um, particularly as it relates to taxes and um, funding sources, that was really right off the bat. There was also a concern and a high priority put on representation for the unincorporated areas um, and making sure that that was equal and increased. Uh, that was a continued conversation to make sure that the values that differ from the cities versus what happens out in the county are represented and they're more equally expressed and felt and understood uh, versus folks that maybe live in the city versus those that are in the county. And so those were a lot of the conversations. Also making sure, again, that was part of the diversity of having folks on the county commission that live out in the county, uh, that live in that space, that know the neighbors, that understand the morning routines, uh, and the things that are going on in can those places. Can you say unincorporated areas yes. rather than county? I can. Because we're all in the county. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the show. <laughs> this was a quick, so uh, incorporated versus unincorporated. I think I've got that now. Uh, it was a quick, right? And, and I say it's a quick, but it's a very deeply rooted and it's a main concern. Um, so not to cut it off short, but there is a definite difference between incorporated and unincorporated. Uh, and that was one of the biggest things about adding the districts was to make sure that representation existed um, where it is um, not currently felt or perceived at the moment. This gets stuck. So we did get into a little bit of the map. So the spokes, very similar to Robert, that was not uh, the favorite. Uh, there was really a high priority put on how do we get the most county representation out of the maps. Uh, we did have the county map, but that was one, and it's a really broad area. And so the, the ideal was that there would be an additional, um, at least up to three, was the request from this group. Um, the cities, that one did allow for some uh, additional representation. The Wakarusa tended to be the one on the higher list, particularly because of the Panasonic plant, as well as adding in those incorporated, the unincorporated areas had a few more uh, it almost didn't necessarily guarantee, but it expands the unincorporated representation. There was a suggestion about the little square of basically Pleasant Grovish area uh, to move that over east of 59, um, because that's more, that was the preference there, is a suggestion to keep uh, west of 59 blue uh, and keep east of 59 green. There was also a question and consideration about making the green, the current on the Wakarusa map, um, having that District 5, the green area, the smallest, um, given the fact that there was likely to be an influx of folks coming in and allowing for some expansion. Um, so thinking ahead to that process, they were worried about moving, having to move lines as we see growth in that area and what that would look like and how that would change the maps later. So something just to consider. Uh, and to think about in those areas. And we just talked about those. So again, just a real quick recap. Um, unincorporated areas, uh, expanding the representation specifically for those that are living in the county. Uh, there was a specific encouragement as well for folks that live in the county to run for those positions and to be a part of that representation. I think I got us all the different all right, fantastic. Thank you guys. Our next facilitator will be Kim Kreiner Ritchie. She's our sustainability manager. We may also use the term rural versus urban. So um, so we can use a few less costs. So just say, but thanks for their comment on language. Julie, your, your notes were so organized. I <laughs> Okay, yes, we did. We had a very robust conversation at our table about the maps 
and we we did not follow the questions quite um, quite in order. So um, I'll try. You know, we can highlight what our considerations and and um, concerns as we go. So one of the main questions right off the bat was, is there can we have a policy where um, that ensures that um, it, that at least a com one commissioner lives within the rural part of Douglas County. Um, there was a lot, a lot of discussion at the front end about population growth, and will the map that's chosen um, be, you know, be able to project the growth um, that's happening, particularly outside um, the city of Lawrence, because that is where most of the growth is happening. Um, there was conversation about the frequency of redistricting and making sure that that frequency was keeping up with growth um, and responding to that um, appropriately. Um, there was, uh, there's concern that um, there could end up being uh, five commissioners um, that represent or that live within Lawrence. Um, that, brought, that brought us into the spokes map, um, which seemed, uh, which um, there was um, interpretation that that could have the largest chance of that being the outcome. Um, but it was also raised that that could also be an opportunity um, to, if, if that were the map, to then consider uh, the policy that um, maybe there would be um, two commissioners that must have an address outside of Lawrence. Um, no, if with, in that map. Um, there was um, question, concern, consideration about um, communication about the special election and making sure that if that's the community preference that people are, are able to voice that um, and, and let the commissioners know that's something that they're leaning toward. In the county map, um, there was um, concern that that would um, mean that there would only be one rural commissioner um, from that equation. Discussion of the Wakarusa map, um, there was some concern that that would have Baldwin and Eudora um, within the same district and um, you know, candidates within there com um, voted, sorry, competing against for votes. Um, but it also um, presents the two largest rural districts um, so could have a better chance for more diverse representation of Douglas County as a whole. Um, some discussion that um, the composition, whatever the composition of the commission, um, it needs to focus on working for the entire county once elected and not solely for the, uh, the interest of their district. Um, some repetition. Um, uh, from some Eudora, some Eudora discussion um, with the uh, no, sorry, the Panasonic plant, and um, something to consider is that whatever, however the maps are are split, that the representation, the, the sorry, the um, I, can't, I can't read my notes, the um, commissioner that represents Eudora have tied have have relationships to the east. Um, and not be located um, further away in Douglas County because they need to stay in tune um, with the growth in DeSoto and what's happening there. Uh, question, when will the final map be announced? And then um, we ended on a discussion of renewable energy conversations uh, in the county and um, just the, the sentiment of wanting um, Wanting to there to want, sorry sorry wanting to be represented in the decision making that's happening within the county, particularly in places where they live and where where you live is being impacted. Thanks, Kay. Jill, you want to go next? Sure. Jill Jolliker, our assistant county administrator. Carrie, you want to turn? Can she stay there and you turn your camera? Oh yeah. Sorry. Or you want to come a little closer? All right. She she wants you to move. Oh, sure. Yeah. Or just reiterate. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
So things that stood out that haven't been already discussed from the other groups um, that I want to highlight. We did spend a little bit of time talking about um, getting um, getting a sense of folks from special election, thinking that that might be something that commissioners um, would want some feedback on. The overwhelming consensus in our group was that yes, a special election. Um, we had some, some good discussion. Um, there are there were a lot of good questions a lot of good conversation and questions around the mechanics of a special election, so I do think that, that what we heard is that there'll be a lot of questions from the community, and we'll want to make sure that we're very clear about what that looks like and how, what, how that would all, all operate. Um, let's see. Um, okay. We had a short conversation about what it would look like, things to take into consideration if a special election did not happen. So again, um, concerns that we heard were just making sure that we're clearly articulating and sharing information about what it would look like in both scenarios, a special election versus waiting until 2024. When we looked at the maps, um, understanding that the maps are just a starting point, as Jamie said. Um, there was um, a lot of consensus around, uh, folks were seeing a lot of positive things about what was in spokes. Um, we did not have any, really any conversation about the Wakarusa maps. Um, there was not a lot of comment on, if any, on that. Um, there was a st strong sense of the county map not being reflective of, of well, um, setting up a adversarial role between um, city versus county, if you will, and that, that wouldn't be a, a great position for, for a commissioner to be in. Um, sorry, urban versus rural. Um, the elements of uh, the spokes so I, I, that, were, that were mentioned here that, had, that a lot of it's been mentioned that were advantageous about the, the spokes was um, that it's a combination of city, um, of urban versus rural, um, and it's a chance for all the cities to have a, to have a voice, um, and it could um, potentially, yes, that there could be five commissioners from the city of Lawrence, that's been mentioned as well. What I would say is, uh, and it's better illustrated on the map that, that came up, um, that was, that there was an aspect of um, one part of the spokes map that wasn't quite as reflective of where the, when you think of communities of interest, as Jamie was talking about, the, southwest portion of the county where there could be some communities of interest that um, you may want to have more distinct control over um, and have a um, elected a bit, a, a le elected voice there to can to better inform what happens in that part of the community and yes the, the concerns that came up are reflective of what, what's already been brought up, a lack of rural voice um, being a sentiment. Tanya Boyd, our Director of Zoning and Codes, is next. Okay, I'll try really hard not to repeat the same things that we've already discussed. I'll try to just highlight the things that maybe we haven't hit yet tonight. So questions about increasing the size of the commission. There were some questions about why not allowing the residents to vote on the maps instead of it being a uh, choice by the county commissioners. Um, how much of this cost um, is increasing because of the commission? Uh, the extra salaries, the health insurance, the remodel, those type of things. What is the true cost to the taxpayers? How are the new candidates for the district parties voted on? And there was a little bit of confusion about what a special election means. Um, and if a special election actually meant that the people did not get to vote, that then the parties were just appointing people um, versus just going to the regular election. So clarifying that would be, I think, very important for everyone. And a requirement, there was a lot of talk about requiring that a certain number of new county commissioners uh, reside in the unincorporated areas of the county and not be city residents. What should be taken into consideration when adding districts? Again, county representation, the meshing of the city and county into one district. Sorry, yes. Lawrence interest um, are overriding the unincorporated area's interests, uh, and the city of Lawrence is using county dollars for city projects. And rural residents 
can't run for city council positions, um, so why is it happening on the flip side? And there was quite a bit of talk about um, like how dollars are spent between rural and urban and where money is going. So I'm not going to get into that. I don't know much about that, but there was a lot of talk about EMS and fire and those types of things. And the biggest concerns, again, are just the unincorporated being represented. Uh, Baldwin, Eudora, and Lecompton also being considered and whether it's advantageous for those small communities to be split or be together. And increasing taxes due to city impacts was a big discussion as well. Right, Katie. And, and you're our last one, right, Katie? Yes. All right, thank you. Katie Fitzgerald, our Colonel Justice Coordinating Council Coordinator. Thank you. Um, my easel's over there, but I have notes. Um, I will try not to also repeat what has been said. There's a lot of the same sentiments mm -hmm. shared in my group. Um, a lot of important considerations that my group wanted to be sure folks heard is um, ensuring that our rural residents um, have an equal opportunity and equal access to um, as much possibility of being able to elect their representatives from their areas that really represent their voice. Um, so, this, so similar to what all the other groups have talked about in that regard. Um, on specific maps, um, our group was much more in favor of um, the spokes and the city's maps. Those were the two maps that kind of um, seemed to generate the most support at, at our table because there was the greatest opportunity in those two maps for the, the cities of Eudora, Baldwin, and Lecompton to have opportunities to represent um, officials or to elect rep um, officials to represent them. Um, there was concern and discussion on the spokes map that, um, as another group had already mentioned, because it starts in Lawrence and spokes outward, you do have the oppor opportunity or the potential for all five commissioners to be elected from Lawrence. Um, but those were the two maps that were more heavily favored. Um, one of the points of discussion that our group also had talked about was uh, not just urban versus the rural representation, but thinking about the physical size of the districts. And so when we, when, when we look at the, um, let some of the spokes or the county map is the one, that one district is just considerably physically large. Um, and even on Wakarusa, um, so they wanted to just be mindful of the physical distance, ensuring that the elected representatives um, are more accessible and ensuring um, accessibility to their constituents as much as possible. Um, there was overwhelming support at our table for a special election um, because because the vote to support the expansion to five commissioners was so overwhelmingly in favor is very important to our, our group felt that it was very important um, that that representation be put in place as soon as possible, um, particularly in light of um, potential growth between what Panasonic and the impacts of, of that. There's a lot of discussion and, and things that will be happening between now and when a general election could occur. And um, for our group, it was really important that our commissioners hear that um, they would prefer special election um, for their to ensure representation. Um, there were questions about cost, how much does um, a special election cost, um, and then additional just continu continuing to support the expansion and request, um, and maybe more of a reminder to just um, that we can use this opportunity to be more transparent, making sure that we're sharing information um, with, with the public about how things are transpiring in the county. <clears throat> and, did I miss anything? And Christy does have all of our notes. I just it's over there. Well, I want to um, first take an opportunity to thank all the staff who came and um, prolonged their day with us. Also, and took notes and reported out. And I hope that um, everybody who joined us this evening feels that um, it was a really productive conversation. That you learned some things. And obviously, there's more questions to be answered um, and to keep talking about in this coming week. Weeks. I mean, imagine it'll be an ongoing conversation for a matter of weeks. But as was mentioned earlier, 
um, our December 7th meeting next Wednesday, which always starts at 5.30 p.m. Um, you're welcome to join us online or in person. We will have it on our agenda again. Um, in, in between now and then, the questions that were raised tonight, staff will be going back through, working to compile um, both the, the sort of notes and questions that were just discussed and highlighted, summarizing those in writing, um, as well as answering some of the, the questions that we heard or clarifying. Um, <clears throat> that information will be available on our website. Carrie Britt will do a great job of pushing that out through um, <clears throat> social media. I'm sure we'll get some other local media coverage about that. Uh, you can always contact our county commission office um, and ask staff for help finding that information on the website if you have trouble. Um, and since it's a little bit past eight, I really want to respect everybody's time, give you your evening back. Some of you have a long drive from here, um, and, and I hope that everybody can um, sort of let the questions and conversation um, simmer a bit more, reach out to us individually um, as your district commissioners, um, as the districts currently stand, if you'd like to have further conversation um, with any of us individually. And please join us for our meeting next week if you have more questions um, and comments that you want to make to us, as well as um, future weeks, as I'm sure we won't resolve this next week, but hopefully we'll make some more um, progress on, on what these maps might look like. Um, and being sure that we're answering the public's questions um, in its entirety so that everybody has sort of an educated uh, opportunity to give us their input. So thank you all for being here this evening. We really appreciate everybody taking time out and um, participating in some good civic discourse, giving us your feedback um, and engaging with the county. So have a great rest of your night.